If you're a Sixers fan and you thought blowing an 18-point lead in Atlanta in Game 4 was bad, welcome to Game 5 back home in Philly. With the series lead on the line, Philadelphia forged a 26-point lead, and with two minutes left in the third quarter, we're up 24. But the Hawks, who managed only 40 points in the first half, scored 40 in the fourth quarter and left the Sixers stunned and a loss away from elimination. The highlights, if you would, and uh, and if you can believe what you're about yeah, to sir, see. The hey, great God. Allen Iverson. And uh, Joel Embiid coming off that 0 for 12 second half in game four. He starts this one out going 8 for 8, Shaq. Yeah, he came out on fire. You know, there was a lot of criticism for going 0 for 12 the game before. So he wanted to set the tone right here, even running back on defense, blocking the shot. He played like a real big man in the first half. I love the pace of the first quarter, them scoring 40 Look at that right there, Kenny. Ooh. Ooh, me. Huh. He had he had lift in his legs in the first half. Well, that ain't you what know. you said the other night. No, in the first half. I didn't have it in the second Dude. half. 38-24 after one. What's up, Billy? And 17 points on eight of eight for Embiid. And then Seth Curry. He was shooting that. I ain't felt. But look at the rear playoff high 36. And they're up, what, 22 right now? So you're no, up 26 20, in the second. Oh, 24 oh, right yeah. now? Oh, it's a game. Game's over. Why are we showing the highlights and they blew this guy yeah. out? Come on, Ernie. They have 22 points. Man, I'm going home, man. Come look, on. Look. Come on. I don't even want to watch this game. Come on, man. See, I know my six is one. Oh, this is over. Come on, Ernie. 62 to 40 at the half. Come 62 on, to 40. Come on, Ernie. There's no way. My six is blue, this. So you're up 62-40 at the half. Okay, Joel, for three. Cash oh. out. Let's go Still home, hot. ladies and gentlemen. Philadelphia lead the series, don't they? Hawks gonna, Hawks gonna turn it over here and on, Philadelphia man. on the oh, other end. You, oh, you just got some commercial to show, because I know my six is one. This Come on, you hurry just, for uh, three again. Ernie, why would you make us go through this whole thing when it's a blowout? I don't get it. I know, I'm just doing my job here. You know, Seth for three again. Everybody on that jumper. Hit seven out of 12. 81 56. It was 85 61 with two minutes left in the third quarter, and the Hawks would outscore them the rest of the way 48 to 21. And they Gallinari. still had to lose. Right? Gallinari yeah. there, and then Lou Williams just. Gallinari was it. huge tonight, too. Lemon Pepper Lou, get him, Lemon Pepper Lou. I tell you, uh, what, Lou with 13 you know. in the fourth quarter. You know he's going to get some three wings down there. <laughs> uh, one more. Oh, John board. Board. Back board. Yeah, bank. Yeah, where you keep your money at? Three. Three. In the bank. It's open on, it's open on uh, Wednesday. So suddenly it's single digits. Yeah, but we still have. We Capella. still up. Capella. We still up. Yeah, it's still over, six. Right? Now it's a yep. six-point game. Everything will have to fall apart for you to lose now. Yeah. Trey Young. Oh, and God. now it's a four-point game. Okay, okay. It's three minutes ago. We got the ball on the four-point lead. Yeah, yeah, that's over, Ernie. Yeah. And oh, now Florida, it's Kenny. a, a two-point lead. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. <laughs> oh, my God. Give me some Rocky music. Young Kenny. hit three free throws to give Atlanta the lead, and Gallinari again. Mm. He, he had 16. Uh, Doc uh, perplexed. Uh, and Embiid. That's a block. So, okay. We were fine. A chance to pull him within one. And Embiid, oh. who had made 20 straight free throws, oh. missed them both. He, oh, suddenly, he, he turned into Ben Simmons at that point. Oh. Look at this. I am unkind. 109-106. <laughs> Uh, there are a million things you can talk about. But this is the fifth time in the last 25 years the team has come back from more than 25 down. How many to times? Win a 30? playoff game five times in the last 25 years. <laughs> um, down 22 at the half. Check. Can I borrow third your third largest? Third largest comeback. Check. Can wow. I borrow your plane tonight? Why do yeah, you where you going? Just to fly to Philly and listen to the radio in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear what they were saying after this one. Oh. For a team that has no all stars, no all defensive players, all no all NBA players, um, this this team is fighting. Uh, we're in the second round of the playoffs, and. Um, I think we just had that chip on our shoulder all year, just being overlooked and um, just having that underdog mentality. When you hang around a lot of young people, it's, it's contagious, man. Honestly, these guys have been uh, 
they've been amazing towards me. You know, they've respected me um, for what I've done in this game, and um, they just look they just look at me like a teammate and like a brother, man. And so it feels good to be with these guys. It's a, a very good group of young guys, and they make me feel youthful. This one hurts. I'm not gonna lie. You know, we were up. We had it. And I think we just gave it some. We got too comfortable and didn't didn't play the way we should be playing. At the same time, we got a job to do in Atlanta. We gotta go do it. So. Um, we got to stay focused and locked in and go get that win. We'll be back here for game seven. I, I believe that, you know. Um, the mood was down. It was awful. What, what, what would you think it would be? It would have to be, right? And so this is part of sports, you know. You, you have some awful moments uh, in it. Uh, there is no guarantee path to, to get into your goal. Uh, we have made this hard on ourselves. We have to own up to that, all of us. Um, and then we have to get up and be ready for the next game. Another, I got another picture. There yeah. you go, Ernie, from David Gardner. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> look at, look at yeah. Chuckster monitoring social media. Hey, man, I, I, you know I don't cry. No. In the back I, the I, I was on Bleacher Report. He was <laughs> crying. Oh, uh, I was dying. Hey, Bleacher Report, thank you, man. I love Bleacher Report. Look oh. at uh, the numbers for Embiid, Harris, and Simmons. Fourth quarter of the last two games. Wow. Combined one for 15 and one for eight in the fourth quarter of this one. Chuckster, explain the depth of what happened to the Sixers tonight. This was a complete choke job. You don't be up 26 in a must-win game. Did they just stop playing? Did they just stop doing what had gotten them there? I'm not even... Uh, listen, first of all, you gave up 40 points in the last quarter. You're up 26. First of all, you, you should have been mad from the last game when you gave up when you gave up the eight point, 18 point lead. You come home, you play, you're fantastic. You get up 26, but the problem, Ernie, is they brag about how good they are defensively. Tell me, well, I should be the defensive player. Yeah, I should be the defensive player. Yeah, I'm like, yo, man, you gave up 40 at home in a playoff game. Uh, they just choked that away. I I, I could get here and say. Um, Lou Williams was fantastic, and Gallinaro was fantastic to get him back in the game, and then Trey finished it off. But that was – I really want to fly to Philly and just listen to the radio tomorrow on my off day. Cause they, man, they, and let me tell you something, they deserve to get roasted. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, going to take till tomorrow morning, as a matter of fact. Um, Doc Rivers is confident. You heard him say, yeah, we'll be back here for game seven, um, which is what you would expect him to say. Yeah, but he's supposed what, to say but that. But what they, do you think the prospects are of Philadelphia going back for a game seven? You know, they, they definitely let one slip away. Two. Two slip away. <laughs> they, they, they have to they have to play excellent ball. We'd we'll, we'll love to see Ben Simmons take more than four shots. I know he's a facilitator, but sometimes you have to say, coach, forget that, get the rebound, push it, go coast to coast and score. You know, I, I remember he was averaging 18 to 20 points. Now I don't know what he's averaging, but... I don't even think it's double figures. And for Atlanta, I know Atlanta's going to be cracking and it's going to be a nice time, but they can't get too happy. Yeah. You know, they weren't expected to win that one. They fought, they won, but don't be too happy. This one's over. You know, do what you did, you know, into, especially in the fourth quarter, play with poise, play smart. And you can end it if you play smart and play the right way. But realize that Philly is coming. Philly's not going to give up. You know, they're going to be listening to the radio tomorrow. They're going to be embarrassed. They're going to be mad. Joe and B is probably going to have another 30 or whatever. But if you do the right thing and, and you know, just stay focused and not get too happy, you can close this thing out. He was, Simmons was averaging 12, 6, and 8 for this series coming in. Shooting That's not six, enough. Sh shooting 68%, but just 8 out of 25 from the, foul, from the foul line. Tonight, he goes 4 for 14 from the foul line. An underdog provides me with the note that he's the first guard in NBA playoff history to miss 10 free throws in a playoff game. I, I want to say this one thing, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Are you angry? I, I, no, no, no. I don't want to say this about... Are you annoyed? Yes, about Joel Embiid. Uh, I think he's a great player and a good kid. I don't like it when players don't talk to the press. Because if you have a great game... You run to the microphone. I don't like players in any sport, number one, in and any you sport. You always talk to the press. Always. 
That's part of the job. That's good. They're not paying you $35 million just to play basketball. Well, I, I never saw my contract. I got to talk to the press. Yeah, well, ahead, but that's ahead. part. Sha Shaq, no, go ahead. the reason those guys are making that money is because TNT and ESPN, we're paying them a lot of money. Uh, I, I think you have a responsibility. Like, you know, these guys get all bent out of shape. Listen, you should say, hey, you know what? Like, like Doc Rivers said uh, after game four, we let one get away. I would love to see, hey, uh, Joel and B say, you know what? I'll take responsibility. I'm the best player on this team. I don't think you should, like I say, I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. You don't get to talk to the press just when you win. I don't like that. I well, agree with that. I, uh, well, I, I, hold on. I, I'm going to have to stick up for Joel. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I used to do it all the time. Maybe you don't feel like talking. You don't have to. You're obligated to. You don't have to. Huh. You're obligated to. Well, you, you, no, if you're obligated you to, then you have to. No, not really. No, no, That's no. what it means. No, 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 no. no, no. If, if you're obligated to, you're supposed to. But if you don't do it, you know, it doesn't mean you have to. If you're obligated to it, you're supposed to do it. Still don't mean you have to I do think, it. I think what, what, what the, your point is... I'm obligated to come no, to I'm work, saying, but I can take a day I'm, off. I'm not you, saying... You have I'm obligated to take a day... If it's an obligation, you do it. I'm obligated to do a podcast, but I can say, you know what, I don't feel like doing my podcast today. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that you, you, you're wrong, that you don't have to talk to the media. No one has to do it. I, I, however, I do agree with Chuck. You can't only... You can't avoid it when, you, when, when things like this happen. This was the well, fifth time. He did speak after yeah. game. He, he yeah. did speak he after, after game yeah, four when he went 0 for 12 in the fourth quarter. And this is what I was going to say. This is the fifth time in history the second in, half. in the last 25 years that this has happened. It only happened five times in 25 years. So, of course, you're disappointed as a, as a team. You, and, and, you know, people are going to use the word choke, as Charles did. Or you could look at it like I, I, I've been on, a, on the Houston Rocket team actually playing against Charles team. We were up 20 points in, I think it was fourth quarter. Yeah. And, and they came back and beat us twice. We buffed two games at home. Both games were up 20 points. And it came back. And what happens in those moments, things are so easy for three quarters. They're so easy. You move the ball. You drive. You pick and roll. You get into the lane. You throw it inside. They double. You throw it out the three. Dunk it. And then all of a sudden, a, a screw tightens up. Just one. And the pick and roll's not there no more. They, oh, oh, it's not there. Oh, then they strike with another one up. Then they, and all of a sudden, you're still in the mindset that everything's easy. And so what happens is it gets start tightening up. And then when it gets close, you forgot how to get there because what, how you got there, everything was easy. So the game plan that you came in with, you had to change and you can't change it down the stretch, and that's how you lose big leads. Hawks, uh, the Hawks, meantime, are in the same position the Clippers are in now. Yes, perfect Go, Going example. home to, to try to close it out yeah. and knock off a number one seed. Uh, and that, and that's, the, that's the game, like, uh, uh, like last night, when you like, Kevin Durant, like, we're not going to lose tonight. That's when your stars have to be like, hey, you know what, we're not going to lose tonight. So I thought the Clippers got a free pass tonight. Now all the pressure's on them in game six. And now... It flips with the Hawks. The Hawks are playing with house money. Nobody picked the Hawks to beat the Sixers. Now, they up 3-2 at home. That place is going to be rocking. This like is what I, I, you know, everyone says that the series doesn't start till you lose a home game. I, being on the Rocket teams, our motto was, as you know, Ernie, I told you many times, the series doesn't start until you're faced with elimination. And so now, that's when it starts. Because you got everybody's attention right now. Because we're, right now, there's 12 guys in your locker room that are paying attention to everything that Rudy was saying, everything that Doc is saying, everything that everyone said. There is not a guy on there that's not going to, when, when Trey Young calls out three, the whole bitch is going to say, look for the screen coming right. Everybody's engaged in those closeout games. And that's when it starts. Man. Well, for a couple of series that haven't really started yet until now, they've yeah. been pretty entertaining yeah. so far. Yes, they have. Uh, and we'll come back with more on Inside.